Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the Trispector P1000 programmable 3D camera from SIC. In this video we will show how to set up the Trispector P1000 and how to capture a 3D image in a few simple steps. For the setup we use a Trispector P1000, a power IO cable connected to a voltage supply, an ethernet cable, a bracket attached to an adjustable arm, three M5 screws, a cart with an encoder mounted on it, and an encoder cable. After fastening the adjustable arm to the table, the next step is to attach the Trispector P1000 camera to the mounting bracket. Connect the encoder cable to the camera and to the encoder. Then, connect the Ethernet cable to the Trispector P1000 and to the PC. Finally, connect the power IO cable to the Trispector P1000 and the power source. The booting of the camera will take about one minute. The camera is ready when the laser line is turned on. This is also indicated by the laser LED turning green. To establish a connection, the camera and the PC needs to be on the same subnet. For further instructions concerning this, please have a look at the SIC Ethernet adapter configuration video on the SIC YouTube channel. The next step is to open a web browser. We recommend using Google Chrome to get a good 3D experience. Now we enter the IP address of the Trispector P1000 in the address field and the user interface of the image acquisition app appears. The image acquisition app has two different views. The image setup, which contains the 3D image viewer and the configuration section, as well as the sensor view, which displays the sensor image according to the currently applied configuration. To mount the camera straight and at the right distance from the object, we use a level and check the right position via the sensor view. In the 3D view, two areas are displayed. By default, the camera is set in free running mode, which means that it will start capturing data as soon as it is switched on. The most recent 3D image with reflectance overlay is displayed inside the selected field of view, or in short, FOV. The yellow area shows the guaranteed field of view and the maximum image length. The blue area represents the selected field of view and corresponds to the current settings. A smaller selected FOV means a faster image acquisition, and therefore we adapt the area to fit our object. To get a better view, we can move, rotate, and scale the scene. Use the 3D navigation control to get orthographic 2D views of the object. It is also possible to set the selected FOVs width, height and length via the control bars all values are given in millimeters. To apply the parameter changes, click Set Configuration. The green gear icon in the user interface indicates a valid configuration. The camera supports two different profile trigger modes. The free running mode allows continuous acquisition of profiles. To use this mode, it is necessary that the object's speed is constant in order to obtain 3D images with correct proportions. If this mode is used, the object's speed in millimeter per second is specified here. The second setting is the encoder mode, which is the focus in this video. Using this mode, the distance between all the profiles in the 3D image is determined by the input from the encoder. In this way, the object will get the right proportions, even if the speed is changing. The encoder pulses per millimeter depends on the encoder resolution and its integration into the conveyor. For the cart we use in this tutorial, the value is 50.128. We set the image resolution by adjusting the profile distance and X resolution parameters. In this setup, we chose 0.3 millimeters on both X resolution and profile distance to get square pixels. 
We now adapt the acquisition settings to get a high quality 3D image. We start by adapting the exposure. We do not want the image to be overexposed or too dark. We know that the exposure time is just right when the laser line is thin but easily visible. If we increase the gain parameter, we on the one hand get a higher image brightness, but on the other hand an elevated noise level. Therefore we want to keep this parameter as low as possible while still getting a stable laser profile. The laser threshold defines which sensor pixels to include when identifying the laser peaks. Pixels with values below the threshold will be disregarded when detecting the laser profile. This means that a high value will give a 3D image with less noise, whereas a low value makes it possible to detect weak laser peaks. To start capturing an image, we use one of the image trigger modes. Using the image trigger mode None, the 3D images will be acquired continuously. By selecting Trigger on IO3, the image acquisition is triggered by a digital input signal similar to that of a photo switch. The third option is the object trigger, which will start the acquisition as soon as the object exceeds a certain height profile. In this case, we use a left height as well as a right height value of 270 mm. When using the software mode, we can trigger the image capture via this button. This can be very useful when doing a feasibility study or during the development of an app. For further information, please find the Trispector P1000 Quick Start on SIG.com. It is possible to visualize the Trispector P1000 data in different ways. When selecting reflectance, the intensity reflected along the laser line is displayed on top of the 3D data. Selecting Z, the color-coded height is shown. For a better visualization, choose different colors to display the 3D image. For this object, as in most cases, the strongest laser peak will result in the best 3D image. In order to explain the other two peak selection options, another object, a packaged salami, is used. In this example, the strongest laser peak captures a good image of the salami inside. In case there is more reflection from the wrapping, the bottommost could be used for reflection handling. To detect the plastic wrapping of a product and not the salon inside, the topmost setting is selected. Thanks for watching this tutorial. You have now learned how to set up the Trispector P1000 programmable 3D camera and how to show the captured 3D images. Trispector P1000 tailor-made 3D solutions for flexible automation.